Hi guys, hi guys. Uh, my name is Benadiha and we promised you today we are going to show you the farm and also going to tell you about our journey and how we've been, how we started until how uh, uh, where we reached right now. We are in Tropa area near St. Elizabeth and that's where we are going to do our next shoot and you are going to hear more about Aqua Blue, about Nelson, about Iha. So welcome guys. Hey guys, here we back again in Mtwapa. As we promised, we always deliver. And this show is going to be an amazing one. Just follow us as we showcase you the blue journey, how it all began. We're taking you to the history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're going to first show you our farm. We're going to take you through everything and show you how the farm acts. So yeah, just follow us, come with us. Yeah, so um, this is our farm, and this is where we have our tank. Uh, we have an 80,000 litre uh, tilapia farm, a uh, tilapia tank that is uh, made of wire mesh and some, some, what do you call it, pond liner. Yeah. Yeah, then uh, we have some mango trees here. Yeah, really, really nice place, but the, the fish are very, very happy. Yeah. It's a very cool place actually. We come here to hang out as we're watching our fish here over here. Hey guys, yeah. join us as you see what we do. Yeah, so this this is a fish tank here. Uh, we just changed the water a few days back and filled in some, some more water. And yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, give them some little feed here. Take like, uh, some so that you can just see how they react to feeding and all that. The fish are really, really nice. Yeah, and as you can see, very, very active fish is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Really, really nice fish. Reminds me of those days in at home when your mom used to tell you you have to bed before you take your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope they took their shower. I hope they took their shower. These are the Japati days. Yeah, days. Days you can relate. Yes, yes. So, um, if you can come this side as well. Um, this, this is our inlet, whereby we put in more water from the, from the well. It comes inside through here. Then, we have, we have, we have an outlet. An outlet over here. And by the MQ, we don't, we don't throw away the water. Yeah. We recycle the water and we, sp uh, we sprinkle it over our farm because yeah, yeah, yeah. the water actually is very nutritious and it's very it's very, it's very nutritious with a lot of nutrients. So yeah. we recycle the water and use it in our farm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we just have using some tomatoes sometimes, but as you can see, these are just the last faces here of our tomatoes. Really, really nice tomatoes. Yeah, if we could just make this. <laughs> We've been buying tomato for almost six months right now. Yeah. And of course, you can see the mangoes. So, <laughs> really, really nice place to be. So, Looks like Garden of Eden. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, um, I hope you're going to enjoy this show and you're going to learn as much as possible. Yeah. So, join us later. By the way, with an amazing flowers from outside the outside the world. Yes. If yes, you need exactly. any flower from outside this world, you can come and purchase. <laughs> with amazing, amazing. Outside just, Kenya, that yeah, is. Yeah, outside <laughs> Kenya. Some from Tunisia, some from yeah. Europe, UK, England. Uh, hey guys. Wow. All right, welcome. Yeah. So, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we thank you for joining us this evening as we are going to share with you our journey and also introduce a book to you that will be launching pretty soon. We are going to be our host, Bernard Iha. And like usual, the billionaire, a.k.a. Nelson Momata on deck. Yeah, so um, we, we have this uh, book and we've, 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 we've named it uh, The Blue Journey, A Reflection. And basically what, what this book is trying to uh, unpack to you guys is, is our journey into the blue economy because um, as marine scientists, uh, we've, stud we've studied marine science in Kenyatta University, uh, not yet graduated but yet to graduate, uh, hopefully we do this this year. 
uh, we finished school in 2019, was it 2019? Yeah, 2019, 2019 that's when we finished school. Uh, yeah, so it's going to unpack our journey into the blue economy and the reason as to why we are trying to bring this message to you guys or trying to showcase this journey to you guys is because we feel we feel our journey is full of, of lessons that you can you can use as skills that are going to assist you probably in your own startup or something. And uh, the, we have this great urge to bring this information to you guys so that at least uh, one, you can pick one or two things that's going to assist you in, in your journey. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> at times I sit down and I work on the first day how all this began and I, and I smile because at the back of my mind I know that we haven't reached where we are going but like we're far from where we started and what you've passed through is, is amazing, is overwhelming. And most people will meet you on the road, but they don't understand exactly what you went through. People will just smell like that. Hey, what's up, man? Mazi, I see you doing good, but like, it's real time you guys get to know how, it, how this whole journey began. It was an amazing one. It all began back then. In... <laughs> yeah, Kenyatta University, of course. So, um, uh, we... I entered, the, I entered the university late and um, I found these guys uh, like two weeks ahead and everything and um, the, the full name of our course is Coastal and Marine Source Management and uh, by, by the sound of the name itself most people would shun away from the course. Yeah. Actually uh, some <laughs> shunned away from yeah, the course. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, we, that's why we, <laughs> on our end, we usually like terming it marine science, and that's it. Well, it's science still as well. So, um, uh, while in first year, we a lot of people dropped from our class, and it, it has not only happened in our class, but also previous classes. Like, um, uh, you have this uh, huge batch of students who have come to study the course, then probably after a week or two, because um, the first <laughs> units are usually very, very weird topics. Something. They may be interesting yeah. or very difficult. Like some will move from engineering <laughs> into teaching. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so. so lots of people dropped this course and um, it, it bothered us because one thing, okay, we, we had nowhere to go after all. Like um, when you check, when you look at um, uh, cash wise in terms of, you know, getting a course that's going to be um, what do you call it? Parallel causes. Yeah. It's hard. So for us, you are stuck there. We couldn't do anything about it. So we had to, to comfort ourselves and say and try to give ourselves hope that um, no matter where we are, we can still build up, build up something out of after of this. Because we wanted to prove to those guys who had left that um, actually there's something good, good about within marine. about marine. Because one of the major speculations was that um, you need to get employed abroad. Which is not bad anyway, it's, but yeah. <laughs> but it bothered some people because that meant that within Kenya it's going to be hard for you to to to, to get employment. So uh, we decided to, to begin something. We were not sure what exactly we wanted to start, but we had this urge that we just need to to start something. Yeah. Then from there we can see how everything is going, you know, to turn out. But that that was the first urge at, at first. Yeah. I remember I remember sitting with my friend here and telling him like now that uh, the circumstances put us in this in this place where we are right now. What are we going to do so that we come out with something? You know, like what are we going to do so that by the end of the day we don't get tied to employment? Because actually in many uh, fisheries offices you find people who are there are the old people actually some of them are past 60 probably doing contract and they're like now we have to get into this marine and live there with something for our own yeah. so that's where it all began yeah so uh, our first step actually was uh we, we tried starting a marine science club <laughs> back there so we we uh we picked some some we had a gang a gang of guys who we, we, we were like-minded and uh, we tried out the, the Marisa stuff. Uh, then Actually, I wouldn't term mm -hmm. them as like-minded because mm -hmm. things happened along the way. <laughs> well, things always happen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so this, this small movement, I can say, is what led to the, 
to the other stuff that later followed on and um, our, our course how, how it's it's modeled is that uh, you have two years in Nairobi. in Nairobi then two years in Mombasa so when we came to Mombasa we everything that we've been imagining everything we had been talking about all of a sudden became a reality to us like um, we said we wanted to do something and Mombasa is the place to begin that thing. There's, there's no planning, no more planning or what. We had like two years we of planning, home. so we yeah. are we are in Mombasa and we have to, to begin something. There's something that we just need to do. We've planned for something for like three years. Um, so um, I remember I sat down and we, we discussed this and um, we we decided to begin a, a, a fish farm. That's, that's, what, that's what came up in mind at first. Uh, but we didn't have any land, uh, we, we didn't even have funds to buy land and all that. Uh, we needed capital, of course, for every business that we start, we need capital. So uh, what I did is um, we, 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 we have this backyard back at my place, my dad's place, that was not being utilized. Uh, it was about uh, 20 by 3 meters. And um, so I, I, I remember <laughs> one, one, one uh, evening, as we were having supper with my mom, I, I tried to, to pitch this idea to her and I told her, hey mom by the way, you know what, I'd like to use the, the, the backyard, uh, it does not have any use and we, my friends and I are looking forward to, you know, to start something, a fish farm and we're thinking that's going to be a better place for us. Uh, yeah, so we, we, we checked that and uh, mom agreed and well it was, it was not, it's not easy but uh, according to God's plan, she, she, she agreed. And yeah, so the following day we, we had this land, but no capital to start anything. It was very confusing. <laughs> it was a very challenging, uh, it was a very challenging time because like, like any startups, like you, you may get a, a first step to stone, the first step to step, then you realize that it's the second, it, it, it's it's as hard as the first one. It's even more even harder. Uh, actually, there's there's some point that I don't know why my my fellow partner hasn't shared, but like we really struggled before we even got that land. There's so many things we went through, trying to see what people other people are doing. We went through other fish farms, trying to to learn from them. Uh, there is one particular fish farm I won't mention. Uh, we stayed actually at the gate for three hours, just waiting for that guy to listen to us. But no, we were not allowed in. And the kind of determination that we had by then is what has always kept the fire burning till now. That's why when it got to a chance that we were, uh, whereby we got the land, um, despite us not having money, we still had to think. So that's when uh, we got um, some few cash, some few loans from someone, uh, and and it was, it was weird that we we had approximated the cost to be at around 100 to 70 thousand Kenya shillings, which we got by the way, and uh, by the time we were finishing the 70 thousand, we had only dug one fish pond. One fish pond. <laughs> hey guys. Just one, <laughs> and we have not. We haven't even finished it. Actually, it's not even cemented. It's not complete. It's not even complete, and seventy thousand is down. Woo. <laughs> what, what do you do? Yeah, it, it was very stressful, and uh, uh, when we received this loan, uh, it's, it's mom who assisted us with this loan, and uh, I, I, I had seventy thousand in, in the bank, so I headed to town to to that son's <laughs> office. <laughs> and, um, uh, like, just casually I went to him and told him, hey Nelson, can you see this cash? <laughs> and actually it seemed like a lot of money, like, it seemed like a lot of money at, at a time. Yeah, but... so I told him, Nelson, can you see this cash? It's time to turn this 70,000 into... Into <laughs> what? 10 million? Hey. Yeah, so I told him, we, we need to turn this... And that, so when we began the operation, that is the digging of the pond, you know, cementing it and all that, uh, all the all the money just ran, ran over and we we had we had, we had to now uh, go back to square zero and start and, and start projecting again so i what think i think what we doing? did well, i think what we did is that we we, we underestimated the yeah. costs 
and we we did not have the real value or the real value cost of whatever we're going to do. Basically, I think we did we did not do we did not revise well, because actually I would love to relate this to uh, most startups around. People will people will engage in a startup and then they do uh, approximations of or, or estimates of what they expect in the first year. Then it turns out that it's not exactly how you ex you expected it to be, but. Like, that's the good thing about having a startup. Like, you learn and then you move from it. Because actually that did not stop us. We were always vigilant, we were always, we were always persistent in whatever we were doing. Because the passion in us was, the passion, I guess the passion was so strong more than anything. Like, we were just focused, like, we really have to get this thing done. So, uh, I remember one, um, one time I was at my other office somewhere in town. Then my friend sends me a link of a competition. <laughs> you remember that day? Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> so, that day was, I was like, getting the ring, I was like, so people are boxing, boxing proposal, or boxing pictures or stuff. Mm -hmm. Then, wow. <laughs> like, you guys, I really want to, I really want you to get this thing. Because actually, it's even starting to sound emotional to some extent. Because we were fighting, we, we really wanted to break through. We really wanted to be uh, a recognized startup, and on that night, it really changed. It was it was a very big. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So so it happens. Um, I have a friend of mine known as Patrick, Patrick Mochoku. Um, he used to work for a certain organization known as Junior Achievement. And they, they had this uh, pitch competition. It was the first time by the way we heard the, the word pitch. And we were wondering why, what the hell is pitching? What, what is that really? Like, you go somewhere, you go and pitch your business or something. We'd never known about We never knew anything about it. Oh, we, we'd, we'd done something with angel investors online. But it's just a short proposal, but it was nothing came out of it. So this guy had sent me a competition and asked us to, and asked me if I had anything I, I apply. And uh, the competition was known as Get in the Get in the Ring competition, JTR, happening at at Meta, Nairobi. So um, we, well, uh, with the, with the energy of a young startup, we, we we applied, we applied to it, but again we had applied to other several. Yeah. So it was just like any other application and actually we, we applied to get in the ring yes. and there's another one which you did like it was a it was a it was a hard copy then you carried it to Nairobi yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um so we applied for this and you know and and kept on doing whatever we were doing that is trying to see whether we can get funds and see how we are going to propel this uh, business and that we started Maki, we've not yet uh, we've not yet dug a uh, borehole we've not yet bought fingerlings and everything that so our bond is not we, even complete. Yeah, we had a lot to do by then. So uh, time went by, uh, like two months, just in our own uh, ravels, you know, and hustling here and there. And um, well, we received an email. I received an email, and I I I I, I checked it out, and it was from getting the ring. And these were the exact words. Okay, not exactly the exact words, but if I just paraphrase, was that. Um, uh, you've been you've been shortlisted to join the Get in the Ring competition. So we hope you attend the competition in Nairobi on such and such date. Uh, here are the questions. Kindly revise yeah, the instructions and all that. Yeah. So I, I, personally, I didn't believe what was. So I, I I quickly called Nelson, and the, the first question I asked him was, Hey. Do you remember we we applied for something known as this this and this on a such and such date? Um, say yeah, yeah, I guess I remember. Then I tell him, imagine we've been shortlisted, and uh, the competition is happening next week on Sunday. And to be honest, guys, <laughs> I wasn't much surprised. I was like, ah, just like any other competition, yeah. like we will just go probably win, yeah. or and then just that way. But <laughs> actually, on the day that we're supposed to travel. I was at my other office as usual, and then he came to my office and was like, let's travel today. I was like, hey guy, I don't even have any amount of money with me. 
Actually, we never had like. We were very had, broke. We were broke. <laughs> Actually, broke. We broke. Sina <laughs> chitu. <laughs> <laughs> they broke. <laughs> Actually, I had only one thousand in my pocket. Yeah. Probably, I know what. How much did you have in your pocket, by uh, then? I I had nothing. And the funny thing is that um, the, the prices by then were high. I don't know why the fair prices were high by then. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> it's like we went to the bus stop expecting it's going to be a thousand yeah, to Nairobi, yeah. and we got there and it was fifteen hundred. Imagine, and that that's Chania. <laughs> Not speaking bad about Chania, but that was Chania. We, that was the first time I, I used Chania, but I've never used Chania. That was yeah. my first time. Cause like, <laughs> so, um, once again, if I relate this to a startup, guys. Uh, there are times that you see an opportunity, but you have to take a step for you to get to that opportunity. A leap of faith. You have to, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. the way my friends put it. You have to take a leap of faith. Because yeah. I remember that day, we carried our pitching clothes in our bag. <laughs> then we just wore like normal clothes, like I just took a jeans and a t-shirt, same to him. And we hopped into a... I won't say that bus again. <laughs> and then we hopped into that bus and... It was 1500 and according to me, I would never bought that bus. Like to me, it was like, how can I bought this bus? And then now we are there. I had to call some few people, my sister. Uh, my sister topped me some few hundred shillings. Same to him. Uh, probably, what did you call? Your mom, your friend? I had to call my mom. My mom, was, my mom is my savior. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so um, oh, yeah. We, we traveled that night to Nairobi. First of all, you don't know where Meta is. We, we are Mombasa, guys, so we don't know Nairobi. So if you tell us about avenues, you just confuse us. So and actually, uh, for those who don't know Meta, Meta was the one which was attacked by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that uh, was attacked the, by the, the know, terrorist attack. Yeah, terrorist attack back, the other yeah. day, and <laughs> wow, we are lucky. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we, we arrived in Nairobi that morning and uh, we quickly went into our hotel and took uh, took uh, breakfast just at Re River Road, yeah. fe that center. I remember I had my toothbrush with me and my and my uh, toothpaste. We we brushed our teeth at the hotel. <laughs> just Actually, at the it's not an hotel with rooms. Yeah, it's it's just a hotel, hotel just where a people just go to yeah, eat. Yeah. <laughs> so we did that quickly. Uh, by 9 a.m. we are supposed to be at the competition. We've, we've not slept. We've just go, been through the journey that same morning and we need to report at Meta so that the competition can start. So We don't know Meta where we Meta, don't know is, the Meta is and we're using Google Maps. Yeah, we're using Google Maps. <laughs> so, uh, we got some few directions uh, from Good Samaritans. Good Samaritans in Nairobi. Can relate. So, um, <laughs> a very, a very... Uh, so we, we, we arrived at Meta and we were Okay, but then that place is, is amazing, it's beautiful. The gate itself, you know, the buildings that are in there, it's just, you are just arrived there and you know this is a high-end place. And I also, I also think uh, the security is well, is yeah, well endorsed. Very, very I, nice. I don't just understand how the terrorist attack actually mm -hmm. happened. Uh, sorry to bring that happened, up again, yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. So, the next, um, without us knowing, we are in Meta. Mm -hmm. Uh, at some rooftop somewhere and you're taking photos <laughs> we are expecting we will get a chance to go and shower and now put on our pitching clothes probably a suit maybe when we got there everybody was dressed to kill <laughs> yeah, yeah. ever seen people dressed to kill <laughs> people who are dressed to kill my friend it's like we had gone there to sleep and they had just woken up like how like how, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before, Please, you, before, you should have seen us that time like uh, you see uh, um, basically when you look at the startup ecosystem in mombasa then if you compare it with nairobi yeah. the startup ecosystem in nairobi of course it's it's it's, 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 a, notch it's, higher. it's a notch higher those people like have got uh, good hubs uh, yeah, that you know amazing, system yeah. well so we are these two uh, mombasa guys who know nothing about hubs we're in Nairobi Meta for a competition and um, I, I had this grey, there's a certain grey sweater that he had lent me and uh, <laughs> I, I took it, it was mine. And, uh, so yeah, uh, so I, I was just in that and some jeans and some, the, I had some, some sport wear that I bought some time with back. Green, with green, <laughs> with green stripes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, those really, shoes. I <laughs> love those shoes. On. They, so, uh, you would ask those shoes when it's a Kiatu, they will tell you exactly how. <laughs> So we found, we found these guys in a room, joined them. Um, 
uh, immediately I, I panicked. By the way, I panicked from the word go. Uh, coupled with the with the cold in Nairobi, I was, I was literally shaking. So the shake the, the shaking was was coupled with fear and the cold. So you can imagine how how that was. And um, so uh, I, I was sitting next to a certain guy who was in a suit. And I <laughs> with an I, with a <laughs> amazing. I, I, I asked him. I asked him. Um, um, well, what's what's your business idea about? What's your startup? Then he. He told me something, uh, uh, I almost ran out of, the, of that room. <laughs> <laughs> he told me that he's into um, mining, mining, and he was doing iron, mining <laughs> iron. So I was like, oh my goodness, this guy is, is, is of mining, I, iron. mining iron in that's, Kenya. That's a bil billion dollar industry, you know, and the likes. So I was like, oh my goodness. Uh, and but I'm here. but what, what prompted that guy to think like that? <laughs> I don't know. Iron mining. Everyone has I think got that, their own passion. That, that's, well. that's, that's big. <laughs> yeah, it's big. <laughs> so anyway. um, then uh, there's a lady on, there was a lady also next to us, and I also asked her, what's, what's your business idea about? She said she, her idea was concerning uh, cakes. Yeah. She was baking cakes, um, then take, delivering and such. Then there was a certain guy who was developing an application, a medicine application. Yeah, um, uh, like a medical application. Medical whereby application, You yeah. could monitor your uh, medical um, history. Uh, your medical history yeah, from any hospital. From, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it can be easy for you to get treated in any hospital yeah, yeah, around yeah. Kenya. Then there was another guy also who was doing a JIRA whereby you, you can send people to do chores to you if you want someone to go to the supermarket. So these guys were just actually, you know, Ajira right now is there. Yeah, it's yeah, it's I, I, I actually in LinkedIn, the, the lady in the question emailed me about some stuff, and I was like, wow, it really, it's really booming. I, yeah, I love that. So, so something, Congrats. Something interesting about that. So, um, fear, fear engulfed me, like really, really engulfed me, because I, I knew we, we had no chance. To engulfed us. Guys. He's talking this like guy. I wasn't fearing. <laughs> He's ever joyful, anyway. So, <laughs> so um, um, if if we didn't have the courage to, you know, to believe in whatever we are doing, because you can believe in whatever you 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 are doing, but you cannot have, you may not have the courage probably to speak it up and you know announce it to everyone. So if we, if if it was not for courage on our end. We might not have uh, stayed through the competition. Yeah. So, um, be because of this fear, what happened is that I, I, I told Nelson, why, why don't we just go out and just rehearse our parts? We just rehearse our parts as much as possible. Because there are a few questions that you are supposed to answer and they hate timings. The, the whole model of the competition was that um, uh, two people uh, adorned in uh, boxing attire. Uh, get into a sort of ring, then a referee or sort uh, throws questions to you guys, then you answer to the best of your ability concerning your startup. It's like uh, an intellectual punching. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you intellectually punch yeah. yourself, or you punch your ideas towards yeah, each other. Yeah, exactly. I'd see the best idea or mm. the idea with the best um, prospects, yeah, exactly. which could actually, yeah. So we, we went outside and uh, he was shooting the questions because I was, I was going to represent us. So he was shooting the questions to me, then telling me how to trick the questions, telling me don't say this, just say this, this thing, uh, make it shorter, timing is not even enough, so do this, do this. So we, we coached ourselves for a while until uh, we, we, we were called in for lunch. Uh, so we, we went in for lunch and uh, took lunch. then. After lunch, and actually, gather. guys, we really needed that lunch. Yeah. To be honest, <laughs> we really, really needed that lunch because we were, our stomachs were rumbling yeah, yeah, yeah. out of hunger. So after okay. lunch, people gathered, gathered around, and they were mentioning the people who are going to participate. So they mentioned everyone, and then we didn't hear our name, Aqua Blue. So we were like, okay, what's what's happening? Is, 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 you can imagine, a wrong guys. Email. <laughs> now you can imagine. Now let, 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 let me let me let me focus a little bit. You, guys. you can imagine all the way from Mombasa. You actually loaned my I loaned my sister some few shillings to get to Nairobi. I get to Nairobi. We get to Nairobi, and then you're getting to that competition, and your name is not on the list. <laughs> <laughs> In yeah, the heartbreak. It, was choose, so, it, was choice. So, it was so devastating and um, we found out that um, as we were outside coaching, uh, some people actually had been 
the names were taken and yeah. they were they were written somewhere so we were not around so ours was not taken so we quickly went to the referee and told hey we were we were, we were informed to be here but we've not found our name uh, luckily enough she just said ah, let me just write a name down here so she quickly yeah. wrote the name down there so the competitions went by went, went by until it reached our point and uh yeah we 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 answered well we answered well enough so the competition had three levels it was the first level then after the first level you are going to the semi-final then after the semi-final you go to the to the, the finals. finals so we pushed very well we went we went to the, the semi-final and i remember uh the, the person we were we were competing with was a guy to do he his idea was was based around agriculture and um, he he began by dissing me, and he, he, he said. <laughs> I, I think I, I think I should say that part. Uh, okay, I don't I don't I don't exactly remember what he said. He will say that part, but I remember that for a moment he was confused. For a moment he went blank. But I think in every situation there are some people who are put in particular places to spar uh -huh. to spar that to spar that far because actually. That guy is very crucial to our <laughs> success, to be honest. Hey. Yeah. So actually, his point was that um, he, he was saying that our, our, our plan is is baseless and useless, and that imagine in a in a pitch competition. Yeah. For him, he's, he's all the way from Mombasa. Okay. He's focusing on assisting our grandmothers, our grandparents. For us, we are, we just don't know what we are doing, and I was like, oh my goodness! So, <laughs> Did this guy just touch me? <laughs> Do you know it's things? Uh, yeah, yeah. So we went, we went, we went on, we went on, and we found ourselves in the in the in the finals. I remember it was it was a very emotional moment. I remember <laughs> I, I I didn't cry, but I was almost crying. I've never cried because of okay, I, I've ever cried, but um. It was just a different kind. It was a different kind of cry, like the joy that is inside you, and you're like, I can't believe I'm here. Like it's the final. So they, there's a certain question that they asked at the end. They asked, um, how 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 is your competition aligned to the SDGs? And trust me, you are, it's like our <laughs> it's like our project was and they, they was said, husband. To they the said SDGs. SDGs, and we've never had the word SDGs. I had never had the word SDG. I was I was wondering what is SDG, and we were like we were like five guys who are being asked that. So it was beginning at the end. I had this guy near me. He's a certain guy from Machakos, <laughs> Kiambu. A certain guy, very very funny guy. So um, uh, I asked him, hey guy, what, what what does SDG mean? Then he told me it's Sustainable Development Goals. I'm like, oh, what's what that? Is that? <laughs> So what's that? So um, with the little English that I know, I I I I, I thought sustainability then means that something that's going to run Longevity. for more and more. Yeah. yeah. So when it reached uh, to me, I, I answered wrongly by the and I don't. If if I knew what SDGs was, I would have answered this question differently. But so I, at times you rather just not, don't do something because actually maybe that's what <laughs> led to us winning. So um, I remember that's what our our. our, our, our how our competition is aligned with SDGs, and I said um, it's it's aligned with the SDGs because after our first uh, culture and our first harvest, we'll get money to do a, cons a consequent project. So it's going to be sustainable. <laughs> and you can also so do urban farming, farming and, and stuff. And 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 yeah, so it happened. It worked. We, 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 we came out of position two. Yeah. It was a very, very nice, nice uh, feeling. Uh, holding these huge checks, we had a uh, gift, a 200,000 Kenya shilling gift. And actually, guys, uh, concerning that, mm -hmm. uh, for a while we were disappointed. Mm -hmm. um, now, I, I want us to get more serious in that um, all, all, all a while, whatever we were doing, um, the, the stress of finding fair to go to Nairobi, the impulse to do uh, 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 these uh, speech. The, the pitch and all that all, all of this um, was not actually the prize we we thought that the prize for us was to get this uh, 200,000 Kenya shillings but apparently God God had a different plan actually think, different <coughs> plan I think we had a different prize because mm -hmm. uh, um, I remember we were there celebrating uh, rejoicing that 
Okay, despite the fact that we were a little bit disappointed that we're not going to get that cash, we were we were still celebrating because by the end of the day, coming position two, all the way from Mombasa, it was it was, it was big for us actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was big, and while we were there celebrating, um, some guy called Aya. Then he's like, <coughs> "Hey guys, I'm Zungu." <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't know if I should say I'm Zungu. <laughs> okay, I'm Zungu. Uh, called a hand was like hey I think I love what you do I think I love the pitch I think I think I love I, I love everything about what you're doing and I would love to get to know exactly what you do and you know you know <laughs> you know like whenever I'm Zungo calls you and tells you something like that you're always excited you're like wow this is that time so he called us uh, his name was uh, William He's <laughs> uh, his name actually is not was his name is William, and uh, I think I think he, he was a he was our prize for that competition. Yeah, 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 he, that, he was our prize at that. Competition. That, that guy that guy changed Change. he changed the course of our startup literally, because um, what happened is that uh, we exchanged contacts and I remember telling Nelson that. Um, Obviously, this uh, is just someone who is telling us something, then he'll just go, he'll just disappear. go mute and then he'll not find actually him. Actually, he had promised us that he's going to come, come to, to Mombasa, yeah, Mombasa to come and see what you're doing. So, and all we're that. in Mombasa and we're like, <laughs> like, he will come. <laughs> he will come. You know, like, you know, like he will come. <laughs> <laughs> then one, one, one time we're just like, hey guys, I'm supposed to come. It was 15th of July. Yeah. If, if, <laughs> yes. if, if, if I haven't forgotten, yeah. it should be 15th or 15th of June or July. And he was like, hey guys, I'm coming. Took a flight to Mombasa. Hey guys, you, you are, and he's for real coming. You were in class by then. We were in class. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was during our second semester. Yeah, we were in class. Um, he, he didn't attend class that day. I remember very well. Yeah, I like we really we, we, we really had not. To, I hope our lecturer is not listening to this. <laughs> yeah, so he called and uh, he came to Mombasa and we went through to all farms around. Uh, after that, we took him to the to the pond, to the um, uh, backyard, backyard pond. pond. My mom had prepared some 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 nice, some nice delicacy. Meal. We ate, it's then really went dishes. went to the backyard. Now, um, well, I, I believe, and uh, also I think William is going to confirm this after this. But I think what motivated uh, him uh, to help us or to find uh, investors for us into this project. Uh, was was the idea that we had, we had begun, and that like we, we then we done the match that we called, and and I think we were not ashamed of where we were. Yeah. And mark <laughs> you, it's like we had done nothing. <laughs> but the kind of courage, determination, passion, urge, eagerness that we had about that project, I think that is that is what actually motivated him, because he came there, and we just showed him. Actually, it was a hole. Like, actually, <laughs> yeah. somebody would have thought that we just dug the hole the other the other night, yeah. so that when he comes, he finds something. So, actually, we, we took a photo there. Yeah. Uh, the photo I'll put the photo here. I'll make sure I get that photo for you. Yeah. Then I'll put it here. Then we took a photo. Then and while we were there, we were discussing like, what are we going to do about this? And we were not like we were not ashamed of where we had reached. Yeah. Like, uh, in Swahili, people say, "Mficha uchi hazai." Like maybe we would have been ashamed and then we would have taken him to another hotel and then discuss about our project in an hotel, you know, mm -hmm. and then tell him that we have a project somewhere where we're doing something. Mm -hmm. And to tell him like getting there will be, will be a little bit tricky, tricky. but <laughs> we, we were like, he really needs to see what you've done. Because actually it never seemed like, actually I never thought of it like we've done nothing. Yeah. I was like, this is the best we've done. Like yeah. this is 70,000 over here. Like <laughs> if this soil could speak, it could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mixture of soil and 70,000 Kenya shillings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, guys. So, um, William sits with us there and yeah. we have a talk. And he's impressed actually with uh, our, 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 our progress. And then he tells us one thing. To be honest, I'm not sure if I believed it. I hope he's not watching this one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you believe it? <laughs> Did you? Well, <laughs> you see, uh, we, we all... We Actually, all, we he all did not doubting. believe it even more than I am. <laughs> we are all doubting Thomas's. Yeah, uh, to some uh, extent, yeah. <laughs> so this is a guy 
we just met uh, at a competition and then he's come to Mombasa and then he's telling us, hey guys, I'm going to the States when I give me a period of time, I'm going to send you some money to complete your project. Guys, to be honest, it's not like my doubting Thomas says, who will believe? <laughs> like, you there, would you believe someone is just going to send you? Because it's, 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 it's a first time, it's a, it's, it's a first time um, encounter. It's not yeah, that actually, like you've, had, yeah. you've been with this guy for long. So he promised us that and... Um, and actually he made that amount sound like 500 kg shillings to be honest. <laughs> like he just said he's going to send how much? It was... Uh, we, we, did, we did a small budget, a quick budget, uh, and it came to around 500,000 Kenya shillings. And um, after a while he, he managed to send us the, the cash and I, 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 can't, I can't thank him enough because uh, basically... Yeah. Um, I think uh, my my life took a different course, uh, different course from that point, and um, uh, it, that 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 belief, uh, uh, without even the the, the money, that the belief was was immense because it gave us more courage to do even more things, and uh, that's that's how we started the relationship, and we. We completed our project and we did our first uh, culture, uh, you know, then met some other staffs um, slowly by slowly. <coughs> so, um, yeah, and that, that's how that's how we we came to be. And um, I, I hope you've learned uh, some few things in in this short story. And of course, uh, through the book that we are going to 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 be releasing soon. Uh, you'll get like the whole story. We wish we, we can talk by day and talk and talk and never finish. Because like we have so stuff, much to tell you guys. There's but, a lot um, of things inside. Yeah. As you can see, uh, just like the the darkness is encroaching us. Uh, actually, for, for for people who are very keen, they will notice that the darkness is en are encroaching us slow by slow. And personally, um, I'm a very philosophical guy, and I would love to. Uh, I love to, to take symbolism in everything. And uh, to startups, I will say that uh, success is like how the darkness approaches. Um, it depends with how patient are you for it to get you. Because it's always going to come from all the directions. Uh, people say that, uh, most religious people will tell you that Tochia Mungu je kumulika imekumulika and uh, and so there is that persistent you need to be persistent you really have to be persistent like I really have to co like I have to repeat that you really have to be persistent and passion is the key to any to any project and having people who actually are going to actually people say me and him are of different we are different, uh, <laughs> different characters definitely by the way we are different because like yeah, we are, I wouldn't like I wouldn't like give the points here yeah, then but definitely we are different. Yeah. But there's one thing I like about our relationship, it's that our goals are aligned. Yeah. So it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the kind of people you have in your group. What is important is how does that person how does that yeah. fellow person close to you, how does that he or she take your idea? How yeah. does that he or she see what you see? Because that is very very important if you find someone who has the same goal same vision as you guys the sky is the limit because at times there are some things that i don't like and he likes then he'll tell me hey guy i don't like that one and i'll like okay it's fine if you don't like it then i'll do it when i'm alone or i won't do it at all and it's something that has actually cautioned us because by the end of the day we're all always correcting ourselves oops I want to become like a Ziad over here, always shabby. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope that one is not on set. So, guys, like, the, the beauty about our relationship is that we have always molded each other. Like, there are those things that I'm good at, there are those things that is good at, and and I think we have we have uh, we have been like a tree and um, and um, a passion fruit. We have by we intertwined we intertwine. All of us with an aim to get the sunlight, yeah. and I think that means the same God, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. So that that's it from us, QRV TV. I hope we could have more time to share much, much that you have. 
So I'll refer you to our book as we'll be releasing it. Hopefully, we're going to release it in the same time that we'll be celebrating our graduation this Woo! year. So it's going to be an amazing, <laughs> amazing session. We're going to send out invites to you guys so that we have a book signing as well as uh, celebrating the it's graduation. It's going to have a very, very, <laughs> very, very massive mm -hmm. launch. Yeah. Trust me, you guys. <laughs> this You need to get this book. In fact, if it were me, yeah. if I were you, you, I would have started ordering. Hmm? Yeah. But anyway, guys, <laughs> it's... Yeah, I, that's I know, it. I know I'm dark. I know I'm dark. From, from <laughs> me, Bernard, you have been your cause. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And me, Nelson Ondego Mumatsa, aka Always the Billionaire. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>